Isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa mag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at SPED tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes Mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hi, good afternoon everyone. Welcome sa ating Itulay online tutorial. Okay, so I'm with Sir Jess, but I think he's still on the process of getting in in our session. And before we start, hello nga Pauleta, Ma'am Nelia Ragudos Bumakod. Okay, John Timothy Suryano, oh, dito ka daw manood. Okay, <laughs> alright, so it's Itulay online tutorial, hashtag Itulay level up. Okay. So for our mga kaitulay, we are in the fourth week already of our session. And this focuses on the patterns of development in writing across disciplines. We are now in the fourth part. Okay. And also, I am with Tutor Jess once again from Tagum City. And I am your Tutor Zen from ISDO, Agusan del Sur. And for our viewers, we are already on the fourth quarter on the fourth session rather so this is for the quarter one this is the summary of our sessions for the reading and writing skills we have this one for every tuesday 4 40 p.m to 5 20 p.m all right so in our previous sessions we have already discussed the different writing patterns okay but for this session uh, we will just have the mastery of these concepts and we will try to have more drills 
on how we're going to practice identifying the writing patterns used in the samples given. All right. And also for our reference, we have the reading and writing skills, the grade 11 self-learning module that's from the SOC Surgeon Region 12. Okay. And before anything else, nga pala sa ating mga kaguru dyan, to our fellow teachers from all over the places in our country, happy, happy Teacher's Day. And I hope that you had spent your Teacher's Day with your families and loved ones. Okay. Hello. Good afternoon. Merlin Montejo watching from Book Book Central Elementary School. Book Book Don Carlos Bukidnon. Wow, we are in the Bukidnon already. Hello, ma'am. And also, aside from the celebration of the Teacher's Day, we also have the recently concluded Miss Universe Philippines 2021, in which Miss Beatrice Luigi Gomez was held as the winner. Okay, so why do we have to include the Miss Universe Philippines, the concept of the coronation or the pageant it is because later on in our drills um, we will have the miss universe candidates in our assessment or in our activities okay we have them as our guests and we'll have the surprise um messages or statements coming from them Okay. Hello, Joara Cordova. Good afternoon. Watching from Anislaga National High School. Jeffrey Gomanit Cagolada. Hello. Also, and also shout out sa SDO Agusan do Sur, SDO Bayugan City, Prosperidad Agusan do Sur, and San Luis Agusan do Sur. Okay. And shout out nga din po pala sa ating fellow tutors. We have tutor Tutor Jessica Marie Borromeo from Rizal and Tutor Romarie Punong Bayan from Laguna and also special mention kay Pearl Hidalgo Alejo Bada from Anislaga National High School. She was really excited to tell her mother na mag-aabang talaga siya sa ating session. And we also have Joseph Conrad Bulaklak from Paranaque. She, he really sent his private message earlier this morning telling me or greeting me. Happy Teacher's Day. Hello, Joseph. Thank Thank you so much and before also we start our session let me um let me mention the names of those uh, individuals who were drawn in our um lottery lottery okay who were drawn by lot the names were drawn by lot these are actually the participants from the second session and we already sent private messages for these individuals please check your inboxes we have marie sipoli galiaza we also have Ma'am Remedios Makaraig and Ma'am Mary Sinang. Kasi as what we've promised, Kamini Tutor Jess, we promised kasi na in every session, session we will be giving um, e-load rewards sa ating mga participants from our previous sessions. Okay, so for this session, later on, um, we will also be drawing a lot uh, more names that will be winners for our e-load rewards. Okay. Okay, San Fernando, La Union. Hello, Jeffrey Gumanit Cagolada. Okay, we also have Ma'am Mary Ann Kalaki from GC, GS, CNH, Jensan Division. Hello, ma'am, and welcome to DepEd Itolai Online Tutorial. Now, let's go with our session. Okay, so let's have our first activity, and it's called Twisted. Okay, so get ready our participants, prepare your comment sections because you will be writing your answers on your comment sections for this activity. Let's go. Okay, so here is the instruction. Rearrange the jumbled letters and form a word that could be associated in the given word for each item. Okay, so we have the categories and we have the jumbled letters, our dear participants. And what you're just going to do is you rearrange these jumbled letters so that we can find the word that we're looking for that we can associate or connect to the term that we have in here. Ready na? Okay. Hello, Sheen from Manislaga National High School and Alriza Zaidane Gaza from SPJ7. M. Del Pilar, PHS, SDO, Pampanga. Hello. Ryan Agtan, good afternoon po. Watching from, okay, this is Estigio Press City Central School, Cagayan. Wow, thank you so much. Hello. Okay, so here we go. Our first word is we have pattern, okay? We have the jumbled letters 
on the first row and on the second row are the clues. Our dear participants, what do you think is the word that we can associate with the word pattern? Okay. We're going to be waiting for your responses. Okay. All right. Okay, we have, wow, Sheena Jean Prahes Miguel, it's strategy. Okay, let's try to check your answer, Sheena, if you got it. And yes, you got it correctly. Okay, we have the word strategy that we can use on the, or we can connect to the patterns. So we're talking about writing patterns, meaning we're talking about writing strategies. Okay, Ryan Agtang also, and Leonardo JR, hello. Okay, Leon Alriza Zaidin Gaza strategy again. Okay, let's go to the next one. We have okay, the narration. We discussed this also in our previous sessions. What word can we associate with the word narration? We have the jumbled letters and the clue. What do you think is the word that we can connect for this one? Okay. And hello nga pala while waiting for the answers. Hello to all the teachers from Manislaga National High School. We celebrated Teacher's Day yesterday and it was really happy. It was a happy event. Okay, we have Joara Cradoa, story, Leonardo JR, story. Let's check your answers if this is really story. Okay, you got it right. Okay, when we talk about narration, it's more like telling a story. Okay, very good, everyone. What about, hello, Jamaica Gonzalez. Okay, let's proceed with the third one. We have the problem solution. What word do you think we can associate for this, uh, for the problem solution? Okay, happy teachers day to my co-tutors, the super responsible and great teachers. Hello then, Ma'am Nova Dolore B. Pelayo. Again, she's our program head for the senior high school department. And she's really dynamic. She's also responsible, just like us. Nagmana kami sa kanya. Okay, so we have in here the answer. We have Leonardo Jr. Resolve. Now, let's try to check if Resolve is correct. Okay, Alaya kun buntuyan result. Let's check. Okay, wow, that's great. You got the correct answer. Problem solution can be associated with results. Okay, so it's like providing problems or explaining the problem and then giving resolution or solution to that problem. Okay, Trilita Ihan, may paguyo result. Hello, yes, you got it right. How about for this one? All right, we have persuasion. Okay, what is the term that we can associate for this writing pattern? Okay, we have the clues and we have the jumbled letters. Hello, Karil Joy Viernes, 12 Yums Malvar Carino National High School. Hello, Sayo Karil. Okay, so sa lahat ng ating mga participants, stick to the end because we will have our Miss Universe Philippines 2021 candidates later on. Okay, so we have from MG, convince. Let's try to check your answer, MG, if this is correct. Okay, we have the word convince. You got it right, MG. Jeffrey, Alea, Alriza, Mia, Joanna, May Paguyo. Okay, you got it right. What about for this one? Exemplification. What word can we associate for this writing pattern? Okay. All right. Okay, we have in here. <laughs> okay, invoice. That's actually Ryan. That's actually convince. Okay. Now, um, for our dear participants, this word association is a strategy for us also to remember easily the writing patterns as we go on with writing our compositions. Okay. Hello, Mia Juwana Pihavir. Okay, grade 7 Corinthians in BEC Sabayan. Okay, hello. And also we have answer from MG again. Example. And we have Jeffrey example. Let's try to check your answers. Okay, you got it right. We have for exemplification, let us remember the word example because exemplification is about providing examples in our text. Hello, Joram Karamay Ramay, 12 Yums, 
12 years Bonifacio, Bonifacio, ano ba yan? Okay, Bonifacio watching from uh, school to, okay? National High School. Hello, Joram, Kamay, Karamay, Ramay. Okay, I like your family name. Carino National High School. Hello. Okay, here we go. So these are the words, few of the words that we need to remember for the writing patterns. Now let's go to our next activity, our dear learners. Okay, so this activity is called Minute to Name It. All right, so we are familiar with Minute to Win It. Now it's called Minute to Name It. And your task, our dear participants for this activity is that you're just going to identify the writing patterns used in the following examples that I am going to present to you. And you will be given one minute to solve or to identify the writing pattern used, okay? So get ready for the comment section once again, and let's start the minute to name it, okay? Our dear learners, if you can provide your answers or if you can identify the writing pattern used before the one minute, okay, we will consider your answer. Mm -hmm. Always feel like my first home. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Time's up. Okay. So our learners, we have here, what writing pattern is used in this example? Is it narration, description, definition, or exemplification or classification? Or is it comparison and contrast, cause and effect, problem solution, or persuasion? Now, the answer for this one is this. Okay. Okay. Some of you answered description. Okay. Or most of you answered story. Okay. But the correct answer for that is description. Now, why is it description? Or why it is this description? Let's have the word worn out fences. Must this smell the delicious meals? Okay. So we also have the old house. Okay, what have you observed in these words? The old house, worn out fences, must this smell delicious meals. Okay, it's more like, or these houses are more like description. Okay, it's more like providing um, details, providing or describing the object or your subjects. Okay, we have the word old. Hello, Sir Jess. Hello. Hello. So many to say. Uh, there are yes. many uh, many adjectives no uh, described no yes. describing the uh, noun so it's more on descriptions it's more on uh, there are so many uh, flowery words in here so yes. that's why we we can uh, put it on it into description yes that's right sir Chess. though it's more like it sounds like a narration it sounds like a story the highlight in here is that it more focuses or it focuses more on the, the giving descriptions or the adjectives yeah, yeah. like the worn out the old house must be it's delicious <laughs> it's more like the census okay okay you have a hi hello happy teachers day thank you so much girly fernandez handig okay Hi. now let's go <laughs> yes sir okay now let's go to the next sample and to our learners your timer starts now what is passion mm -hmm. i was asked <laughs> yes that's right sir just Mm -hmm. But a college professor before, what yes, is fashion? Right. This is a typical okay. question for a painter and an artist like me. As they say, you will never excel as an artist if you don't have passion within you. What is fashion? My teacher once told me that passion comes from a Latin root, pa pari, meaning suffering. 
or enduring. From then on, my teacher taught me that passion is not just something you earn in a night or after studying arts. It's something you have to learn over the course of life. I then learned that passion is something I need to learn to feel by enduring ju not just the heights of life, but also the down times. It also okay. goes with loving what I do. Yes, yeah, sir, sir Jess, thank you so much. Okay, so to our dear learners, what do you think is this writing pattern or the writing pattern used in this example? Uh -oh. Okay, so we have <laughs> this. This is so exciting, Mom, no? <laughs> yes, that's right, Sir Jess, because yeah. we natin talaga if the mm -hmm. learners can determine the writing pattern. Yes. It requires <laughs> critical thinking. thinking. Yes, yes. Right, Sir Jess. Okay, so let's check the answer for this one. Okay, we have the definition. Okay, definition. Okay, yes. Now, why definition? Okay, now we have the word, the subject in here is passion. Okay, and the writer in here tries to define what passion is. Okay, so we have this one. My teacher once told me that passion comes from a Latin word, pati. Okay, it's providing example by etymology or the origin of the word and it comes from latin root now yes. take note in here yes that doesn't just end there because we have this one okay the the details which are connotative for example the writer defined passion in here as not just something you earn in a night or after studying arts Okay, it's something you have to learn over the course of life. Now, this definition of passion cannot be found in dictionaries. These are special meanings associated by the writer to the word passion. And this, uh, this definition is actually coming from the experiences of the writer or the experiences of the professor who asked what passion is. Yes. I, okay. Okay. Shina Jean Price Miguel, you got it right. Definition and May Paguyo mm. definition. Okay. Now let's go. Okay. We have in here to explain or give a comprehensive understanding by yes. providing definition. Now let's go to the next sample text. You can be awesome on your first day high in college by being friendly, responsive, and easygoing. In that case, you can immediately have friends and be at ease in your journey to college. First, by friendly. For example, always be the first one to say hi and introduce yourself. For you not to look awkward, always wear a smile. Next, be responsive. A first day is always getting to know stage. Whenever a person asks you a question, answer accordingly. Lastly, be easy going. Keep your chill and just go with the flow. As long as it doesn't hurt or offend you, just go for it. Basically, these are the must-be attitudes if you're a freshman. You're freshman. Yes, that's right, Sir Jess. All right, so for this text, what do you think is the writing pattern used? Okay, before we see your answers, let us have okay. Thank happy Teacher's Day from Mary Jane Baroga. Yes, thank you so much. Hello, thank you so much. And also, we have Mabel Valentino. Happy Teacher's Day. Oh, thank wow, you so much. thank you. Yes, okay. Ruela Dayug from 10 Newton watching and listening from Donia. <laughs> okay. Doña Magdalena Echga Food High School. Okay, the correct ah. answer is Jeffrey. Yes, you got it right. It's exemplification. Yes. Okay. What Very makes good. it? Yes. What mm. makes it exemplification? Okay. Now take note. Yes. Exemplification first. Let's focus on that. You can be awesome on your first day high in college. This is now the idea, the general idea mm. that the writer provides in the text. Okay, meaning it will focus on how to be awesome on the first day high in college. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have in here the word friendly, responsive, and easygoing. These are actually the subcategories as after the author introduced the main idea. Mm -hmm. So that is why this text is not only exempli exemplification, but also classification. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like itemizing the categories 
this one. Now, for example, we have the transitional word in here. Basically, and as long as these are the clue words also for the exemplification. And we have in here the author provided or the writer provided examples on how to be friendly, how to be responsive, how to be an easygoing for you to be awesome on your first day in college. Okay. What are these examples to present? For always be the first one to say hi and introduce yourself. Okay. Be responsive. For example, okay, always a getting to know stage. Like whenever a person asks you a question, you answer. Okay. These are the examples. Okay. Hello, Benjamin Cordova. Happy Teacher's Day. Watching from Anislaga National High School. Hello, Benjamin. Hi. <laughs> okay. You got it right. Jeff. Okay, we have Rick Capistrano and Jeffrey Gomanit Cagulada. Yes, you also got it right. Classification sometimes is referred to as division. Okay. Mm. Yes, in Ryan Agtang, you get also you got it also right. Let's go to the next sample text. Yes. Okay, timer starts now. Several factors contribute to the frequent use of different social media platforms by teenagers. First, it is their way of connecting to friends and widening their network of friends. Since everyone is in social media, they feel a need to be there and join group conversations. It is their way of relating to others. Second, teenagers tend to feel like they might sneeze out if they aren't always up to date with social media. They can even stay online in a day and they would never feel tired in just scrolling. Lastly, because of boredom, they choose to be occupied in their social media profiles and continue connecting to other people. However, being too much absorbed in social media may result to a bad turnout. That's why parents should guide their children and be updated on their things their children explore. Explore, yes, that's right, Sir Jess, okay? What do you think is the writing pattern used in here? Okay, yes. let's try to check our dear participants. Okay, the correct answer for this one is cause yes. and effect. Okay, what makes this a cause and effect essay? Okay, now we have the word the frequent use of different social media platforms by teenagers. This is actually the effect that the writer oh. wants to emphasize. Now, for this one, what could be the causes of the frequent use of these social media platforms? It is stated on the next details of the text. For example, we have first, it is their way of connecting to friends and widening their network of friends. That's the first cause. That's the first reason why uh, teenagers use social media platforms and the second teenagers tend to feel like they might miss out if they aren't always up to date okay yes. do you feel the same sir just <laughs> <laughs> that's it yes that's right and uh, lastly because of boredom that is why teenagers use social media okay so also and in the last part we have the word here however being I'm too um... much Absorbed in social media may result to a bad turnout. Now, it's like providing the effect, providing the reasons, then the writer gets back again to providing the effect again. But this time, this is or this is related to the effect identified for in the first part. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, meaning to say, Sir Jess, okay, the effect is emphasized in the first part, but um, this effect has another effect for our teenagers and this is emphasized for the word however being too much absorbed in social media may result to a bad turnout okay yes that's, that's it, it ma'am so that you're okay. right yes mm -hmm. congratulations you got it right Ray Capistrano May Pagoyo G Sheena Jean Prahis Miguel hello okay happy watching Rachel Sangutan Jimeno Duran okay how about for this text let's try to check this one Obesity among adults showed a gradual increasing trend as it has become 
one of the major problems in the Philippines nowadays. This problem is made worse by bad habits such as lack of physical activity, excessive smoking, and unhealthy diets. Aside from healthier eating habits, one of the solution to this would be to exercise on a daily basis. There are even easy and convenient ways to exercise at home or even at work. Convenient ways, yeah. That's why, before it's too late, obese adults should take this into consideration before it aggravates and might lead to more complicated illnesses. Illness. Okay, here we go. Time's up. All right. What do you think is the writing pattern used in here? So we have from Rick Capistrano and Ryan Agta. Problem solution, though. So let's try the check. Ah, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, you got it right. <laughs> yes, we have the problem solution. Okay, now what is the problem presented by the writer in here? It's not a challenge to mga viewers. Huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's... It's obesity among adults. This is now the problem identified by the writer. And as you can see on the later part of the text, the writer provides one solution, and that is to exercise on a daily basis. Okay. And also we have the topic sentence, obesity among, ad among, among adults show the gradually increasing trend as it has become one of the major problems in the Philippines now a day. Yes. 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 And the yeah. author, let's just say concisely or um, correctly mm -hmm. presented or clearly presented the the topic in here for this paragraph. Okay. May yes. paguyo ma is also correct. Yes, correct. Problem solution. The answer problem solution. Thank you so yes. much for responding. Yes, and also and also the writer in here ends the text with an advice. Like, yes. That's why before it's too late, obese mm. adults should take this into consideration before it aggravates and might lead to more complicated illnesses. You got it mm. right. Okay. Hello, Pedro Chua, Hume Swamalbarker National <laughs> High School. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Yes. All right. And here well, we go. Okay. Our next sample text. Let's try to guess. Michael certainly loves his two best friends, Anton and Abu. However, they have completely diverse personalities. Although Anton and Abu both have strict parents, their attitudes are very different. Anton is very conservative and always careful with his words. In contrast, Abu is very outgoing and is always careless when he talks. When it comes to hobbies, they are also different. Anton loves reading books, while Abu loves fishing and the river. However, even though they are totally different, they all agree on one thing, and that is playing basketball. That's how they always bond and keep their friendship. Wow. Ah. Okay, time's up. What writing pattern is used in the text? We have answers here from Ryan Agdang and Rick Capistrano, the correct answer for this one. Okay, this is really obvious because of some terms or transitional devices used in here. Comparison and contrast. You also got it right, Jeffrey Cagulada. Okay, so we have in here, it's a comparison and contrast because the writer tries to to see the differences or try to present the differences between Miko and, and okay, that between the two best friends of Miko. Okay. Mm. And though these are Anton and Abu. Abu. Okay. So, yes. And also, um, the author in here use point by point method, meaning it's like alternating. Okay. <laughs> it, yes. It doesn't just focus on the first friend, the un, Anton and the next paragraph would be Abu. No, it's not. Mm. The author is alternating the contrasting and the similarities or similar qualities of his two best friends. Yes. That okay. would be the method, the comparison and contrast. Yes, that's right, Serges. And also, the author tries to compare and contrast his two friends based on the attitudes and the hobbies. 
attitude. Okay. Okay, yes. Thank you so, so we much, have... Susan. <laughs> yes. May baguyo. Congratulations. You got it. Also, right. Yes. yes. Now, let's have the other sample text. Is it the last text, na, ma'am? Mm -hmm. More likely, Sir Chad. <laughs> Education is a right and not just a privilege. First of all, one of the rights of a child is the right to education. He has the right to learn, to know, to explore, and to discover. Thus, education must be available for all without discrimination. Not one's status in a society should dictate if one deserves quality education or not. As observed, illiteracy of such affects everyone. Meanwhile, this problem of illiteracy happens to someone who can't afford school and is usually in a marginalized sectors. Oh. Basically, education heals ignorance. Therefore, let education be given to everyone. Hence, education is and be a right. Government should strengthen and empower education, yeah, education for, all. for all. Okay, so just hindi ka pa nga so just have, but we have answer from Ryan Agdang. Wow, yeah. and okay, according to him, it's persuasion. Let's try to check yes. if it's persuasion. Go, go, go. All right. Yes, Great that's answer. right. Yes, and Jeffrey, you got it also right. Okay, we have persuasion. And as what we can observe in here, the author tries to emphasize his stand about education. And he tells that education is a right and not just a privilege. Rick Capistrano, you also got it. Ang gagaling ng mga batang to. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Galing talaga. And, that's right, Sir Jess. And also, aside from uh, presenting the stand of the author, uh, the writer also in here included the, the reasons as to why education should be a right and not just a privilege. Yes, okay? very good. And the conclusion, yes, let education be given to everyone. Mm -hmm. okay? education, education is and should should be a right okay yes trying to convince your um readers for this one that education must be for all okay, okay. how about yes that's right. okay See you again. yes and all we also right. have the last one sir jess okay. okay and it's okay we will not um have this one but we will not have the one minute for this one sir jess mm -mm. time constraints okay. but let's try to let our learners mm -hmm. Okay, guess what writing pattern is used in here. Okay, for okay. example, yes, yesterday Thea and her two brothers, Michael and Edward, had the most wonderful time together. They strolled in the mall, they went inside the department store and bought bucket hats and matching shirts. Next, for lunch, they ate at their favorite restaurant, I ordered their usual chicken and rice combo, and shared many funny moments. After that, they watched a comedy movie and laughed their hearts out. After a long day, they went home tired but fulfilled. They definitely shared good moments together and bonded more as siblings. Okay, our dear learners, what do you think is the writing pattern used in here? Go, go, go! What is the correct answer? <laughs> yes, that's right, Sir Jess. Okay. Okay, Chirazen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take it away. <laughs> Yes, let's try to know what is the writing According pattern. According to Sheena Jean Prahes Miguel, okay. that's narration. Narration. Well, you know what, Sir Jess? Sheena good. Jean is one of our students back then in the National High wow. School. She's really smart. Yes. yes. <laughs> and you got it right, Sheena. It's narration. Uh -uh. Yes. Okay. Why narration? Okay. Now we have in here, okay, as what you can see in the text, there, there, are, there is logical sequence of actions. That no, that supplies narrative sequence. For ah. example, we have the transitional devices devices in here. Here, next, after that, after a long day, nagkakasunod sunod talaga siya, Sir yes. Jess, and how the author presented <laughs> the events. Okay. okay, according to Jeffrey Gumanit, uh, mm. Kagulada nar narrative, Ryan Agtang narration. narration. Very good. Um, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes, Sir Jess. Mm. Okay, I think they really had learned a lot from okay. our previous session. So, all right. Sir so Jess, since. <laughs> We're done. Um, yes. We're so done. this is the summary mm. now. Okay. So we will just have a run through of this one. And I believe that most of our wow, students have nice already understood. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right, Jess. Okay, let's go now to our since this is what this session would focus on the series of activities that would master or let the students master their writing patterns. Let's have QA, Sir Jess, and we have mm -hmm. our 
candidates in here for the Miss Universe. Wow! Are you excited? Our <laughs> dear learners, yes. Okay. Makakasama na natin sila ngayon. Okay. So, our select Miss Universe candidates will be given giving their statements. Actually, these statements are taken from the answers of the interview portion in the pageant. Yes, okay? yes. So, let's try to identify what writing pattern is used. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello. Can see the Vera. Okay, this is from Victoria Velasquez Vincent. Let's try to identify mm -hmm. her uh, the, the writing pattern used for her answer. As Filipinos, we need to take pride in our culture and it doesn't need to even cost anything. It could be something as little as learning to speak Tagalog or another dialect. For example, I was raised in New Zealand and I wasn't raised to speak Tagalog and I'm trying my absolute best to keep our language alive. Definitely, it is the most powerful thing to keep our heritage alive and it's great, incredibly important. Okay, our okay. dear learners, what do you think is the writing pattern used by our candidate in here? Okay, be careful students because uh, most, you, you really have to focus on what is the highlight. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, Jess. Okay. What's the correct mm -hmm. answer? What's the correct answer for this one we have? Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. It's letter letter B. B. Okay, so yes, the um the our candidate actually um it started with the general idea that okay so that we need to take pride in our culture so um in the later parts the the candidate provided examples as to how we're going or how we're going to take pride for this one to take okay. pride in our culture yes thank you okay. yes you got it right Ryan. Rick and Jeffrey. Wow, wow, ang galing -galing nila. Uh. <laughs> yes, Kinsey also. Wow, how about for Marine Rebel Wits? Wow. Okay. We have the model here. is actually very insecure, but the beauty queen is spokeswoman. And as a spokeswoman, I would really like to uplift the stories and experiences of those who don't have the privilege to be on this stage. Because I would like to be the voice and make a difference in their lives. Being a beauty queen not just means living my purpose. Okay, what do you think is the writing uh, pattern used in here? Cause and effect, narration, comparison and contrast, or problem solution? Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. <laughs> go, go, go. Yes, sir, Jess. <laughs> okay, no. What's the correct? What's the correct answer, sir, Jess? It's go, tutor. This one. Okay, we have okay, comparison, comparison and, and contrast, contrast sir, Jess. Okay, what are okay. the in here we have the the concept of being a beauty queen and being a spokes and being a model okay okay next yes. <laughs> what about for this one sir jess okay steffi abira story okay uh -huh. steffi. okay this is her statement now with social media this tool has been a driving force in all of us but we have to draw a border line so that this youth will not take advantage of the social media we have to see the social media like how it is the way it is designed and that is to unite people and never to divide us in the first place we okay. have to be a responsible user what writing pattern is used for this okay. part According mm. to Sheena Jean Prahes, Miguel, okay. uh, letter C. I think that's her answer earlier, so uh, just. Uh, <laughs> ah, okay, okay, letter D. Letter okay. D. No. Yes, letter D. Okay, let's write What's the, the correct answer, to the correct answer. Yes. All right, we have letter yes. D. D. Okay, convincing our um, the people not to to be a responsible view, user for social media. And also, Rick Capistrano yes, is correct. Rick, correct. Yes, that's okay. right. So next, okay. tutor. Next, we have Miss Rosanne Marie Bernas. Okay, and this is her statement. Okay, what oh. writing pattern is used in here? You, you try to read okay. your test. But growing okay. up, I had to do a lot of trial and error trying to figure out what I wanted to be. So, in the last 10 years, I have been an interior design major, ma English major, working student, writer, freelancer, content creator, entrepreneur, 
English teacher in Spain and now a beauty queen. So I like to think that I am more than just the jack of all trades, master of none. Okay, so our dear learners, take note of the transitional words used in the text. Okay, mm -hmm. what do you think is the writing pattern used? Mm -hmm. okay. We have the words in the last now uh, okay logical sequence and that is what do letter? you think our dear learners okay go 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 okay we have from jeffrey letter a jeffrey again a, we have rick the word b. yes rick b let's try to check if your answers go. are correct okay we have b letter b okay. yes the very good words very good <laughs> china rick okay so let's now have the last one Mm -hmm. Still from Victoria Velasquez Vincent. I I really hope, hey. Sir Jasmine, that we can really have them in our session. Hey. Wow. Turn up yes. Okay, soon. <laughs> okay, so soon. Say we have above all else, the pandemic has challenged me in a way that has made me both stronger and more independent. I spent the first year of the pandemic in New Zealand and had the privilege of having that safety and security, but I still chose to sacrifice all of those things and relocate to the Philippines in January. And if there's anything that the journey taught me, it's that you might need to make some sacrifices along the way and you might need to give up on so many things and let go of so many things in your life, but you shouldn't let anything, not even a worldwide pandemic, get in the way of your dreams. What writing okay. pattern is used in here? <laughs> Go mm -hmm. Rick, daw, sabi ni Jeffrey. Go query, uh, the, the <laughs> what is your part, answer? Part okay, so we have in here <laughs> letter A? Yes. Letter right. A. Yes, that's right, Sir Jess. Actually, um, the writer in here or the, the candidate in here provided okay a definition of the pandemic, mm. but it's more like presenting it for based on its effect. Okay, okay. we discussed it one in our first session. Yes. Ah, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> Definition by effect. What is yes. the effect of pandemic for you? Okay, so you got All it right, right Jeffrey. Okay, mm -hmm. Rimaline, you got also get it right. All Hello. right, so we're done. Yes, so excellent. <laughs> well done, everyone. Yes. Thank you so much to our no, uh, guests. <laughs> yes, our guests. Thank you so much, our dear candidates. So uh, you really, you really supported us with a heart mm. session for the <laughs> joke last yes, yes, very good. Okay, by the way, our dear participants, we will now draw the names of the winners. Yes, from, last week session. Yes, so to those who are session. here. Okay, actively mm -hmm. participate with us, they will have the chance to be in the role lots next meeting. So be in there, no, in our next mm -hmm. session. Yes, that's right. Oh, Sir go, 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 okay, we'll first, give you we'll select the top uh, three. three. Okay, we have kung kilala nyo to, paki PM ha, CJ <laughs> Balisi Abordo. Okay, okay. CJ Balisi Abordo. Hello. Next. And next we have, okay. Oh. Eddie about Davila Jr. All right, okay. thank you. Yes, <laughs> we're sending you private messages for this one and congratulations yes. for winning the e-load rewards. And lastly, we have, oh, wow, Kizame Abordo. Okay, yes. so these are the top three winners for our okay. e-load rewards. Congratulations. So more viewers, all. more chances of winning because we will be selecting three most participative viewers no? yes, per right, session. Right, yes. That would yes, be right, by yes. week. <laughs> so mm. congratulations everyone and congratulations. we will meet each other next sessions now for yes. this E2Life program Department of Education with our subject reading and writing skills yes, with right, Tutor Jess. Zen. Yes, that's right, Sir Jess. Tutor Zen from Ms. Dio Agus and Sir and to our dear learners, we will have another topic for the next session. So if you have questions to our session for this afternoon, just send your email or just send your messages via email. That's zenmar.chundevi at depa.gov.ph. And you can also visit my Facebook account, Zenmar Luminaria Chundevi, for your inquiries. Okay? okay, thank you so much, Tutor Jess, for having the session with you. Okay. Yes, I'm Tutor mm -hmm. Jess, your tutor. Now for this subject also with Tutor Zen from yes. Taco City Division. Yes, Thank you so right much Jess. for viewing with us here. Mm -hmm. And we shall end with the, our session for this afternoon with the saying mm -hmm. that we are travelers in the lane of love and learning. Down the road, we will always meet again. All right. Yes. <laughs> so watch and please stand by for our next tutor. We have Tutor DJ for speech class.
Okay, Mabuhay! Thank you so much Congratulations! Hope you learned a lot. Okay, thank you, Tudors. Hello, Sheena. Thank you Hello, so much, also. <laughs> okay. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!